This is not a comprehensive guide on photo theory or anything like that. It's just some tips and tricks that I've found to help me take good, interesting photos in Beaminji. Most of you have probably used or at least seen the photography menu in BeamNG Drive. Messed around with it, took a few photos, and posted on the BeamNG Reddit to get negative internet points. For me, I have found some tips and tricks to get good or at least better than before pictures. Tip 1. Avoid using wide FOVs unless absolutely needed. Unless you're taking landscape photos or using it for one or another reason, don't use wide FOVs. You don't want your viewer to have to search for a subject, which is most likely going to be a car. Keep the FOV low and keep the image concentrated on subject to make it more interesting. Try to use the grid function and keep the action in the middle row to avoid having too much headroom or floor room. Tip 2. Half action in your photo. Now let me show you these two photos. Which one do you prefer? The car on the left is in action. It's creating an engaging scene while the other cars are parked in one place. And there's nothing wrong with taking stationary photos. However, just a little action can make a photo a whole lot better. Tip 3. There's nothing wrong with using in-game filters. This is especially recommended for beginners. Now if you don't want to dive into deep pits of hell that is called Photoshop or Adobe Lightroom, just pop a filter on in the BeamNG Photo tab. If you really want to make your photo that 15% better, you can go ahead and use external software, watch 15 hour YouTube tutorials and utilize histographs, but for the majority of viewers to your image, they probably wouldn't be able to tell a difference. Another great in-game tool to make your photos look more extravagant, Reshade, which allows downloads and applying a multitude of in-game filters and graphic effects. Personally, I don't really use this, I have grown to prefer BeamNG's in-game graphics, especially after the graphics overhaul update. Tip 4. Golden hour is the best hour. The name of the tip is a lie, but the contents of it can infinitely help you make your photos better. Now in real life, you often see unflattering photos of people or landscapes when the sun just absolutely destroys the artistic quality of the image. Golden hour is a term for two times, one in the morning and one in the night, where the sun shines this beautiful gold, red, and orange light creating this dark cinematic look to photos. In real life hour, the common person cannot wake up at 7am or stay at a location until 8pm just to take some photos. In Beam, however, we have this very convenient time slider which allows us to change the position of the sun and its colors to some extent. And look how much better that made our image. If you don't like the position of shadows or lighting at a specific time, just go to the opposite time of that in the slider. Tip 5. Turn up your graphics. Now really quickly, go to the BeamNG Discord images chat or the BeamNG Reddit. What do you see? Crunchy, shadowless images with jaggies on every service large enough to cut your monitor open. Now of course not everyone has the money to get a gaming PC to be able to run BeamNG at higher ultra settings, but this is one instance where your frame rate does not really matter. Turn up the settings to max, get the camera in position, and take the photo. Here's a bonus tip for sticking all the way through. If you have a gamepad or controller, it can make the process of framing, adjusting, and shooting a whole lot easier. The controllers already have binds to control the camera such as zoom and movement, and a controller's analog stick gives you much better precision compared to keyboard controls. Well, that's all the tips I got for now. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.